All right, so get this. Right after uh, President Trump's inauguration, he dropped this bombshell announcement about something called Stargate. It's a Stargate. And it has to do with AI. AI. It's Well, it's <laughs> a potential $500 billion investment in AI infrastructure. Wow. Like, we're talking B billion? Billion. Yeah, billion with a B. That's a lot of Bs. That's a lot of Bs. Yeah. Uh, and luckily for us, we have this Market Screener article that's going to break it all down. Oh, cool. So in this deep dive, you know, we're going to unpack all the details. Who are the players? How's this thing going to work? And uh, most importantly, how could this impact you listening right now? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So just to jump right in, I think the most striking thing about this whole announcement is just the scale. Right. Like it's not just some incremental progress. You know, yeah. this is like a complete paradigm shift in how AI is going to be developed and how it's going to be used. Oh, okay. So Stargate. Sorry. It's a joint venture. Is it? Right. Yeah, it is. Okay. So who's involved? So you have OpenAI. Open AI. Those are the people behind uh, oh, yeah. ChatGPT. ChatGPT, which everybody knows about, yeah. Everyone's been playing with that, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Then uh, you also have Oracle. Oracle. Huge yeah. in software. Huge. And uh, cloud computing. Oh. And then last but certainly not least, SoftBank. SoftBank, that's the Japanese investment company, right? Yeah, a huge Japanese investment uh, right. firm yeah. that's known for taking big bets on these emerging technologies. Okay, so it kind of sounds like OpenAI is like creating the a Oracle's providing like all the computing power. Like infrastructure, yeah. And then SoftBank's footing the bill. Footing the bill, exactly. Okay. Makes sense to me so far. Yeah. Well, so far. But why Texas? <laughs> why Texas? Seems like a random... Well, Texas has become a bit of a data center hub recently. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. mainly because it's got relatively low energy costs. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, and also because it's got a very business-friendly regulatory environment. All right. So basically, um, building their own data centers and infrastructure in Texas is going to allow OpenAI and its partners to kind of, you know, keep control over their resources, mm -hmm. but also potentially save some money down the line. Smart move. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Okay, but but this five hundred billion dollars. Yeah, that's got to be like one of the largest tech investments ever. Oh, it's definitely up there. Up there. Yeah, and actually, some experts are predicting this could even reach get this, one trillion dollars over time. One trillion dollars. Yeah, trillion dollars. That's more than the GDP of like most countries. Yeah, I mean. To give you some context, it's a massive undertaking. It's huge. Yeah. So this SoftBank company, mm. they've invested in other U.S. projects too, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. They've actually already pledged like $100 billion over the next few years for various U.S. projects. Okay. And um, they also invested, you know, back during Trump's first term, they put in $50 billion. $50 billion? Yeah. So you can kind of see a pattern emerging here, right? Yeah. It seems like they really see the U.S. as like the key battleground for all this all this technological innovation. Right. They're putting their money where their mouth is. It's almost like they're saying, hey, all the future tech, it's going to be in the U.S. Yeah. And then it becomes like a self-fulfilling prophecy. A self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. I okay. See. But this article mentions all these other companies that are involved too. Oh, yeah. Like Microsoft. Mm -hmm. There was some investor I've never even heard of called MGX. MGX, yeah. And then chip makers like arm and nvidia right so each partner kind of brings its own unique expertise to the table right so like microsoft obviously has its own uh ambitions in the ai world mm -hmm. mgx probably sees this as uh you know a chance for a massive return on investment that makes sense and then you know chip makers like arm and nvidia right they're essential because they're the ones actually making the hardware that's going to power all this ai right so it really underscores the complexity of developing ai okay it's a multifaceted beast it takes a village it takes a village exactly so it's not just about the software then Yo. it's about building this whole like ecosystem to support all this ai the whole ecosystem yeah yeah you need the hardware you need the software yeah. you need the data but why is all this necessary? Well, I mean, like, why are they investing so much? Think about ChatGPT, yeah. right? GP? I mean, it kind of took the world by storm. Yeah, it did. And it really brought AI into, like, everyday conversations. Right. But training these, uh, these large language models requires a massive amount of data. Data and yeah. processing power. And processing power. Yeah, all right. I mean, imagine you're trying to teach a computer to understand yeah. and then to generate 
human language, right? Yeah. I mean, it needs to learn from a vast sea of information. So basically they're building like this giant brain for the AI exactly. to learn and grow. To learn and grow. And that takes up a lot of space and energy. It takes up a lot of space and energy. That's right. Yeah. Okay. No. And this is where it starts to get really interesting. Okay. Because this isn't just about some abstract technology that's developing in a lab somewhere. Right. This is about AI becoming way more powerful. Okay. And becoming more integrated into our lives. So how could this, like, affect me? Well, think about uh, the potential here, right? Okay. Increased productivity at work. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Who wouldn't want that? Right. You could have um, tasks being automated. Oh, okay. Even things like uh, personalized healthcare experiences. So AI could be, like, handling some of our daily grind. Exactly. Maybe even helping doctors diagnose illnesses more effectively. Helping doctors. Yeah. 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 Potentially. I could see the appeal in that. Yeah. But there's got to be a downside to all this, right? Well, yeah. I mean, there are definitely some potential downsides. Like, what about people's jobs? Jobs, yeah. I mean, isn't AI going to make some jobs obsolete? That's a valid concern. Yeah. As AI becomes more capable, it very well could automate tasks that are currently being done by humans. Mm -hmm. And that could lead to job displacement in certain sectors. Yeah, that's a problem. It's a societal challenge that we're going to have to figure out. Right, so it's not all sunshine and roses. No. Yeah. And what about the whole Terminator scenario? Terminator. You know, like, AI becomes self-aware and decides that humans are the problem. Well, we're not quite at Terminator level yet. Okay. But you're right to be thinking about those potential risks. Right. Uh, misuse of AI is a serious concern. Yeah. Whether we're talking about the spread of misinformation through deep fakes. Deep fakes. Or the development of autonomous weapon systems. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of potential problems, the article mentions that President Trump reversed an order that Biden had put in place that focused on AI safety standards. Yeah. The regulatory landscape around AI is definitely very complex. It doesn't sound too reassuring. No. I mean, it really highlights the fact that governments all over the world yeah. they're struggling to balance you know the need to foster innovation right with the need to mitigate the potential risks that come along with it okay so we've got this like game-changing project yeah. we've got tons of invest massive investments we've got all these potential benefits and risks right and then there's a whole lot of uncertainty about how ai is going to be regulated and used in the future there is where do we even go from here well it is a lot to take in. It is. But that's why we're doing this deep dive yes. to break it all down and to kind of, you know, help you understand all the different factors that are at play here. Right. And trust me, it gets even more interesting from here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. So we've established the Stargate thing is a, yep. like a pretty big deal. It's huge. Potentially a game changer for uh, AI. Oh, yeah. But one thing that I keep thinking about is. What's that? The timing of this announcement. Oh. Like right after Trump gets inaugurated. Uh, it almost feels like a calculated move, right? Well, the timing is definitely interesting. Yeah. I mean, announcing something like this, such a major tech initiative, yeah. this early in a term can generate a lot of positive press. Right. You know, and it can project an image of a forward-thinking administration. Yeah. It's a classic political move. But didn't the article say that this project was already in motion oh yeah for sure like before trump even came into office yeah it looks like it started during the previous administration oh okay so yeah. it wasn't actually trump's idea well that's a detail that's often uh yeah kind of overshadowed by all the fanfare right? right but it really suggests that you know this whole idea of ai development yeah it's not limited to just one political party right it seems like there's a pretty broad recognition that this is the future mm. you know even if they disagree on how it should be done or regulated do you think the project would like unfolded differently oh, if yeah. hard to say. the previous administration had stayed in power? It's really hard to speculate, but it's certainly possible. Yeah. Different administrations have different priorities. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that can definitely influence how a project evolves. Okay. So politics aside for a second. Sure. Let's go back to those uh, potential risks. Okay. Which ones? We talked about uh, yeah. job displacement. Mm -hmm. But this article also hints at some, uh, like, ethical concerns. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, there are definitely some ethical considerations here. Larry Ellison, there. who's the uh, Oracle chairman, right. he talked about AI, yeah. like, tailoring medical treatments. Personalized medicine. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's right. 
to a person's individual data. Exactly. Which sounds amazing. It does. But also kind of creepy, right? Well, it's kind of a, a double-edged sword. Yeah. I mean, the benefits could be immense, right? Yeah. Imagine if we had treatments that were specifically designed for your genetic makeup, right. your lifestyle, your medical history. That's incredible. It could potentially lead to much earlier diagnoses, okay. more effective therapies, yeah. and even uh, you know, personalized preventative measures. Right, but then who gets to access all this? That's the question. Really personal data. Yeah. And how do we make sure it doesn't get used against us? Right. Like by insurance companies or even like during job screenings? Well, those are definitely valid concerns. Yeah. And to be honest, the answers aren't clear cut right now. Right. I mean, we're entering completely uncharted territory here. Yeah. And the regulations surrounding AI and healthcare. Yeah. They're still very much evolving. Right. So it's really important that we keep having these discussions. Yeah. About the ethical side of things and make sure that the right safeguards are in place. Right. To protect individual rights. It feels like we're like on the edge of a new frontier you know a new frontier full of possibilities yeah but also like a lot of danger yeah it's a good analogy yeah and uh just like the pioneers of the past yeah we need to proceed with with caution mm -hmm. but also with you know a sense of adventure yeah. the future of ai is being written right now right and uh it's really up to all of us to ensure that this future benefits humanity as a whole Speaking of the future, yeah, this whole data center thing, mm -hmm. it's not just about Stargate, right? Yeah, not at all. The article mentioned other companies are investing heavily in data centers, too. Absolutely, yeah. Why? Well, the demand for data storage and processing, okay. it's just exploding right now. Why that? Because of the rise of AI, right. big data, okay. the Internet of Things, you name it. So this is like a trend yeah. regardless of Stargate. Yeah, even before Trump made this announcement, okay. industry experts were predicting a massive expansion of data center infrastructure. I mean, the article mentioned Blackstone, Blackstone, which is uh, an investment firm, what? and they're estimating a one trillion dollar investment in data centers. Wow! Over the next five years, it's a lot of data centers in the U.S. alone. Yeah, that's incredible. So it sounds like this is more than just a political play. Yeah, it's bigger than any one politician or any one project. It's a technological trend. It's a reflection of a much larger technological trend that's reshaping the entire world. Yeah. Okay. And Stargate is just one piece, right? Albeit a very large one, right? Of this very complex puzzle. It almost seems like. Like a gold rush, you know? A gold rush. Like everyone's scrambling to build the infrastructure yeah. for this AI-powered future. Yeah, exactly. But then who benefits from all this? That's the big question. Like, is it just big tech companies? Mm. Or will everyday people, like you, you, know, you and me, right. actually see benefits from this? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, we need to make sure that the benefits of all this mm -hmm. are shared widely. Right. Not just concentrate in the hands of a select few. Okay. That means... Addressing things like job displacement. Right. Making sure that everyone has equitable access to these AI-powered tools and services. Right. And fostering a society where AI is used to empower individuals. Right. Not control them. Right. So this is yeah. this is a huge challenge. It is. But it's one we got to face head on, right? We do. Because yeah. the stakes are way too high to ignore. Mm, couldn't agree more. We're talking about, like, the future of work. Yeah. The future of healthcare. Mm. The future of society, even. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. And the decisions we make today yeah. are going to directly shape that future. Right. So as we move into the final part of this deep dive, okay. I think it's really important to keep these big questions in mind. Okay. All right. So in this deep dive, we've talked about the Stargate project. We've talked about the players, the potential, and all the uncertainties. Mm -hmm. But before we uh, wrap things up, I want to go back to a few points that really stood out to me. Yeah, I agree. There were a lot of intriguing details in that article. Yeah. What specifically were you thinking about? Well, I was thinking about, you know, Larry Ellison, okay. the chairman of Oracle. Right. He made that comment about Stargate being linked to digital health records. Oh, right. And personalized vaccines. Yeah. It just seems like AI could revolutionize healthcare. It could. But it also makes me kind of nervous. I understand that. Yeah. It's, it's definitely a compelling vision, you know. Mm -hmm. Imagine... AI analyzing your entire medical history. Right. Your genetic predispositions. Yeah. Even your lifestyle choices. It seems like a lot of data. It is a lot of data. Yeah. But it could be used to develop treatments that are just for you. 
Right. And that could lead to earlier diagnoses and more effective treatments uh, and even personalized preventative measures. Yeah. I mean, the, the possibilities are pr pretty incredible. They are. But yeah. you're right to be concerned about the privacy aspect. Yeah. Who has access to all this information? That's the question. And how do we make sure that insurance companies or employers can't use it against us? Those are really important questions. Yeah. And Honestly, the answers aren't clear yet. Right. I mean, this is new territory for all of us. Yeah. The regulations are still catching up. So another thing that I was thinking about was that report from the information from last year. Okay. Remember how it said that OpenAI was already planning to build their own data centers? Yeah, and they were even worried about the permitting process. Right. But now it seems like this is a Trump initiative. It's interesting how they're framing it, isn't it? Yeah. Even though it seems like it was already in motion. Right. It's almost like AI is becoming this, like, political thing. It is becoming very politicized, that's for sure. It's like the new space race. Yeah, yeah kind of. With countries competing to be the leader in AI. It makes sense in a way. With all these advancements happening so quickly, yeah. governments want to be seen as leaders. Right. But it also raises concerns about potential misuse. Yeah, for sure. And the need for, like, international cooperation. Okay. And then what about Elon Musk? Ah, uh, yes, Elon Musk. He's got to be involved somehow, right? Well, he was an early supporter of OpenAI. Right. But now he's pretty critical of the direction they've taken. Yeah, and now he's part of Trump's administration. And running his own AI company. Right, it's a lot. It's complicated. So basically what we're seeing here is that AI is no longer just a research project. Definitely not. It's at the forefront of, like, everything. Yeah, it's impacting economics, national security, even political strategy. And it's going to have a big impact on everyone listening. Absolutely. Even if you don't realize it, AI is already shaping your life. Okay, so yeah. at the end of this deep dive, I'm feeling a lot of things. Excited about the potential benefits of AI. Right. But also apprehensive about the risks. I think that's a very reasonable reaction. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot at stake here. There is. It's important to stay informed, yeah. ask questions, and engage in these discussions. Because we're creating the future of AI. We are. Right now. Through the choices we make. So we need to be optimistic, mm -hmm. but also cautious. Yes. We need to make sure that AI is used to benefit humanity. Not the other way around. Exactly. That's a great takeaway. I think so, too. So to everyone listening, keep researching, keep thinking critically, and keep asking questions. Keep learning. The more we know, the better we'll be able to navigate this new world. I agree. And ensure that AI serves us, not the other way around. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Until next time.